Jeez, it's wild out there. Right, that's the key. However, with Mercedes-Benz, this is keyless ignition. It's uh, keyless open, keyless close as well. You can either use the key, which I do prefer, or this little button, which you put in there. And you have to make sure you press it right in, otherwise it ejects itself and goes under the seat like I've just done. And uh, I think I probably cut it out. Uh, so that's it, that's, that's the key. As long as you've got it on your person, you can just open the door, press the button when you get out on the door lock, and it all locks. Um, lovely car, and uh, foot on the brake, press the button, vehicle start. And uh, you, you're probably thinking, what's with, the, what's with the 80s jacket, Baz? Well, this jacket, um, long story, if I get time at the end, I'll tell you about it. But it, uh, I used to have this when I was uh, sales manager at Mercedes-Benz a long time ago, which uh, was a, another story in itself. I'll just get this fan on. Let's just go. We've also got, so we've got Bluetooth, we, we've got sat nav, which is there. Uh, there you go. From here, the, you can turn that along the top, view map, or you can set it, um, set your directions. However, this vehicle has also got Apple CarPlay, which as you know, I think is absolutely brilliant. When it's, when you've got a, a an internet signal it's it's brilliant that is but if you just watch that it, it'll come up there the car has also got Harman Kardon speakers which are fantastic the problem with this is it, it's not a touch screen if that is a problem however it's easy enough to to do you work everything from here from this switch here you don't have to take your eyes off the road you can uh, you can operate it from there so that, that's easy enough you see in the mirrors there that's also it's got um, blind spot warning indicator it does have lane departure warning it's either adaptive or standard the adaptive one which i had on the way up was very very slight um very very slight feel through the steering wheel and to be honest <laughs> you could feel yourself crossing the white lines more through the steering wheel than you could through the actual warning. So uh, I've switched it over to standard. It's, it's not something I like anyway. So uh, I'll be switching it off, or, or I would be switching off if, if this was my car. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll just get going. It's, uh, it's an awful day today. I'm soaked. My, uh, my jacket's soaked, my pants are soaked. Fortunately, this has got, let me just tuck me in color down there. Fortunately, this has got, uh, actually, I'm going to take this jacket off because I'm going to be too warm. Fortunately, this has got heated seats, so uh, my pants are drain out nicely. Let's just see if I've got a Mercedes face. I'm not sure whether I have or not. Um, onto there. Mercedes, Porsche tag more Porsches I did have a Lewis Hamilton face right and <laughs> another great demonstration Baz <laughs> I don't know how you think of them so we've got the pan roof too it's the Mercedes-Benz gear selector which you get used to um, it's on the uh, it's where you would expect your wipers to be so it's on the right hand side there so into drive like that knock it down you've got to have your foot on the brake you want to go into park you just press the end in and uh, let's uh, let's get going as you can see I'll just <laughs> I'll turn the wipers on there you go wipers on but if you just look around today it is wild <laughs> it's it's awful <laughs> and the forecast was for it to be sunny from nine o'clock till uh, well all day yesterday and certainly when i went to bed however things changed overnight and it's dismal here we go 
the car has um, different modes. You've got eco mode, sport, um, comfort, and you can, uh, like an individual mode, by pressing this, in the center there, comfort, sport, individual, it's on sport at the moment. Now, I set up the individual mode before. You can get to it another way. So you click star on here. Actually, I'm going to have to go back to Mercedes-Benz. So let's say Mercedes-Benz. So back to Mercedes-Benz. Vehicle, click vehicle. And there you go. And as you see there, I can move that round for not the eco, the stop start off, uh, the aircon and comfort. Let's just see if that moves it. No, it doesn't. That, that's individual there. So I'm, that's how I set um, individual up. I set it to sport, comfort steering. I don't like the steering when it's in sport. It, it, too much artificial feedback. And uh, I think anything that's artificial gives you a false sense of security sometimes and I'd rather be able to feel it through the steering wheel. Now, I went over the lines here. There don't seem to be any visual display here. Oh, it's not put the lines up here. Don't seem to be any visual display for the lane departure warning. So, uh, and it is the slightest. It's actually not worth having, to be fair. It, uh, it's, it's almost subliminal, it's, it's, it's that subtle. Right, we've got paddle shift, like so. Now you can see how fast that is. It's an awesome machine, this. It's not the weather today to be speeding anyway but just take my word for it. The steering in comfort is very precise. The suspension is firm, but not, you know, end sport, too firm. It's, it's Mercedes just right. Um, it looks in Eiffel. We've got this checker plate finish, the insets, and aluminium around all the, the switch gear, or brushed aluminium around all the switch gear, the steering wheel. It's got three position electric memory seats, and that's the control here. We're at certain death corner. Lovely gear change from the paddle shift. Oh, Mr. Pheasant. Well, don't, don't stand there, for goodness sake. <laughs> Come on, you can fly. This is a dim pheasant. I'm, not, I can, I'm going to have to get wet again here, aren't I? Because this bird's too stupid to live. That's it, it's gone off the road. I forgot to tell you what the car was, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those days today. Let me find a place where I can pull up where I'm not going to be a hazard to other traffic. And I'll tell you all about it.
I should be okay here. There's going to be no motorbikes coming around the corners, Harry Flatters, so. All right. I've forgotten the service history. I've picked up a UPS list instead. <laughs> and uh, so, it's a two litre A250 AMG White Art Premium 7G DCT. It's a 2017 on a 67 plate. Has done 51,670 miles at the moment. Of course, I'm out in it. It's got full service history. Fuel economy, urban, 34.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 54.3 miles per gallon. Combined is 44.8 miles per gallon. Top speed of 149 miles per hour out of a 215 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. It has the twin matte black stripes, the Viper stripes up the bonnet and up the roof where the pan roof isn't. As you can see this pan roof here, the pan roof is an opening pan roof and will, there you go, it will slide back, but I'm not gonna slide it back because two reasons. One, it's throwing it down, and the other is my GoPro is mounted to the glass roof. So that, that's that. You've also got um, the electric shade band, which will come across if you press this forward. And again, for the same reason, I'm, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because my GoPro's up there, and it'll end up ruining something. Um, these beautiful seats, the, these, these sport seats, they're absolutely fantastic. They're, they're like, when you when you jump in you think they're really firm but they're actually very very comfortable hold you in hold your shoulders here just the right size for my physique uh, so really really nice and comfortable um, you've got power folding door mirrors there we've got the amg multi-spoke alloys let's just get going again we'll turn the wipers on Just here, you've got cruise control and speed limiter. Heated seats just there. Just gonna put that on one, try and dry my pants out before I get back to work. Climate control. Nice, easy CD system with buttons as well. Um, you know, your, your radio navi and so on. You can you can choose from these buttons, which is easier than doing it with this. And let's just see if I can um, go on to Star. Right, it's, it's come back onto Apple CarPlay, which is what I prefer. And then uh, just get around this corner. go on to maps so you can see where we are it's the Apple CarPlay is a great system you can you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel at, at all you can control it by saying hey SIRI or, or you can use your voice activation button if you keep your finger on the voice activation button for a, a couple of seconds the Siri sign will come up and it'll allow you to you know take me to such a place or navigate to such a place it's uh, it really is a good system there you go too many pheasants about you can see the male ones but the the females ones blend into this kind of browny grass at the side so distance pilot as well does that mean distance pilot off it's gone off limiter we want to knock that off it's knocking off again
that should be allowing me to set yeah that's so you set the sat nav and then you can set the distance you want to be from the car in front by turning the end there that turns it down right down um, really it's a very very well equipped car looks good from the outside looks like it's doing 100 mile an hour when it stood still and uh, being the a-class I I was uh, at Mercedes-Benz when the A-Class first came out and the uh, smart car of course and there was all the controversy about the car turning over we'd sold loads and loads of A-Class they were great little cars the smallest Mercedes but of course the press being what the press are these days any, any negative things they can stick down you throw they, they will do and they will do this it was round about that sort of time that they started so if you turned basically right or left at 70 miles an hour without taking your foot off the accelerator without trying to feather the brake there was a possibility that the car would topple over I mean most cars would either go into a a slide that you couldn't recover from at the, or most people couldn't recover from at that or do the same thing but with it being Mercedes-Benz big uproar and anyway they, they held back the sale and, and they basically over engineered them and they, they put a system in uh, um, which true whether it was true or not the uh, um, it was it, it had anti-skid uh, and, and basically, you couldn't lose control of it. It took over. It, if, you, if it sensed you were going too fast, it would break your wheels. And I put one on as a demonstrator for me um, when they came out. Uh, it was, uh, I think, a, an avant-garde with absolutely everything on leather. It was, it was a beautiful car. And I found that I could come off the slip road at uh, when I was coming home from work, come off the slip road and basically keep my foot down, keep going and go around the roundabout as long as there was nothing coming of course go around the roundabout and the car would break and, and not allow me to lose control it's a fantastic car and it, this is the same, it, it feels, it, it's, it's got bigger than it used to be but it feels over engineered um, Anyway, with, with all the bad press, I, I got people coming, or people ringing up and cancelling their orders. And it was quite dark because we've we got loads of them sold, pre-ordered. And, uh, you know, after a while, it, it, oh, it turns over. And it's like, he says, well, I, I, you know, who in the right mind would do a 90 degree turn at, at 70 miles an hour? You know, it it just will never happen. Um, uh, well, the, the the moose test, the elk test. So I said, well, I'll tell you what. If you're going up the M55 and a moose runs across, <laughs> and you have to you, you have to you know make the decision to, to steer around it or turn right at 70 miles an hour, don't just knock it down because an A-class is as safe as an E-class in a collision so you'll be fine anyway it, it, that didn't pacify a lot of people I have to be honest but some people did see the funny side of it and, and they became a great seller and of course they, they've, they've kind of evolved into this sort of shape this sort of drive you certainly feel a lot lower down the, the a classes, I remember, had kind of a sandwich floor. You sat further up. You'd got just loads of leg room, but the car was shorter. Mercedes, Mercedes design, um, and, and this is with this engine in especially. It's a tremendous car.
and of course it's petrol. But on roads like this, with the paddle shift, it's a shame there's all these puddles because it's just a joy to drive. Even in these conditions, bearing in mind <laughs> if, if I have to turn right or left at 70 miles an hour on this road, uh, down there is a huge drop <laughs> and down there is a, the uh, mountain face. parking brake is down here on the right hand side, your lights are here, so your, your gear selector is basically a, your indicator stalk or was an indicator stalk on previous generations of Mercedes. I'm just holding it in gear here. I think the amber light coming up is, is telling you, you know, beware, there's stuff about you. Be on your guard on the way up here. When anybody came past me close, those triangles lit up red. I, I really like that invention, that idea. I think it will have saved a lot of motorcyclists. And being a motorcyclist, I think that's an extremely good idea. The, 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 the throttle is just right. You can kind of crest a little hump back. Your foot comes off the accelerator as you're going down, back on and you're away. The, the steering is really precise like so. I think we've got a bit of Oh yeah, we, we definitely got a bit of uh, <laughs> reverb there. For those who like, uh, I went into town the other night into Preston and there's a lad in an A3 Audi who obviously got one of those pop and bang setups. A, he was going way, way too fast for basically a pedestrian zone but the noise that was coming from it. It was like somebody was firing a shotgun. And, and to be fair, in this day and age, when you never know what's gonna happen when you go into town or, or so on, the guy should have been arrested and his car crushed with him inside it. Right. That's not the best position to uh, park your Polaris or whatever it's called. At least the weather today will give the birds a sporting chance, hopefully. They won't want to take off. This is a lovely car, it's a real driver's car. You, you just... I always, when I worked at Amari's, I, I used to, I used to open up, I always used to be first there. And I'd walk into a showroom full of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Aston Martins and so on. And you always got this feeling like the cars had, had been out all night and, and just climbed up, you know, just climbed up the drain pipe and, and got into the showroom and just got there before you. There, there was this, there was this sense of um, <laughs> what what could be or what might have been happening, and 
it's the same with this. You, you've, you've just got this feeling that it's, it's kind of got a dark side to it. I think you could have a lot of fun in this car. I do like the exhaust sound. I like the subtle popping and banging. <laughs> Not too loud. must remember to video the seats, I couldn't do it, it was lashing down, rain flying in the car, but um, I must remember to do the seats in the inside, you can see these lovely sports seats, Alcantara in the middle, I'm assuming that will be the Mercedes Artico leather, not real leather, but again with the, the white and grey stripes up the centre, the grey stripes sorry the matte black stripes up the bonnet and the roof it really it's a it's a lovely car so I'll, I'll leave the test drive there but it's it's another beautiful car um the 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 chap that part exchanged it it, it was it's, he specifically wanted this vehicle wanted one of these bought it and then moved to a farm, needed a four wheel drive to get up the track. This is quite low, you know, low profile tires. And, and to be fair, he didn't want to ruin it. And he, I think he probably made the right choice. He's bought another Mercedes Benz, so he obviously likes this. It, it's a great car. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.